There is nothing quite like match day inside a football stadium, especially when there's so much on the line. The build-up has been intense, and now we just can't wait for us all to begin. It's anyone's guess, though, which team will come out on top in front of a packed house. The action is next on EA TV. And hello to you from Molyneux here in the English West Midlands. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers up against Southampton. Well, Southampton got off to a good start on the opening day of the season. They put in a solid performance, they got the three points they wanted and they can now look forward to this one with some confidence. And here's the Wolves lineup. Well, I like the look of their front three today. It has a combination of pace, skill and intelligence. But will they get enough of the ball? Because their midfield could be overrun here. And here's how the lineup looks for Southampton. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Frankie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And nicely parried away. Sends it back. Reading it well. And the move breaks down. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Well, Martin Odegaard is supremely gifted, and I wonder, Stuart, what role you think he'll play in this game? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders. Oh, hang on, Stuart, look at this! And there it is! The opening goal, the ideal way to start! Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So underway again here, one nil the score. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Lovely work to get past his man. The inside route looks promising. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Jonathan David. De Jong. Minch. It's with Erdogan. How can he find someone at the far post? Appeared to be in two minds. Well read to put an end to that attack. Might really be able to trouble them here. But timely defending when it mattered. Pedro Neto. Just cutting off the supply. An awful lot of green space to run into. It has to be. And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Oh. 
Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? 2-0 here, and the ball is moving again. Ryan Ait Nuri. Popescu. Well, possibilities in the centre. And still looking for space. And reading it absolutely superbly. But I think it's time we joined Alex Scott because there's been a goal in the Brighton game. It's a goal for West Ham. You could see he knew what he wanted to do as he stepped up to take that free kick because it was executed superbly. They're the first on the score sheet here with 28 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Corner coming up. Now sending it in. Not quite what they were working on in training this week. Well, sitting deep here, almost inviting the pressure. Space for Wolves out wide. Determined defending. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Released it nicely. Now he must favour the cross. And they know they need to stop him. Can he put it away? Oh, tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. And over it comes. Well, he didn't have too much room to work with, but a long way off target. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of goal, Stuart. Well, it's not been one of his best displays, Derek, has it? He really hasn't been able to affect the game here. Unless he starts getting on the ball, they're going to struggle to get back into this one. Pressing like that will help the cause. He's using his strength to good effect. There to take it away. And a goal has gone in at Stamford Bridge. So with all the information, here's Alex Scott. It's a goal for Leeds United. It's now 1-0 with 42 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. <laughs> How simple for the keeper. to stop it now they're going to alter things here's the substitution and he's fired over the corner not really the ideal clearance can they convert Nicely saved. And there it is, the referee's whistle. We've reached the halfway point here at Molyneux. Well, plenty of positives in the first half where Martin Odegaard was concerned. What did you make of his contribution? Yes, he'll be pleased with his first half display. His movement was good, as was his passing, and of course he took his goal well. Just needs to continue that form into the second half. So back underway here into the second half. A 
super tackle and they've won possession. Frankie de Jong. Are getting the ball forward. Options in the middle. Madison. On to De Jong. From long range. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. So a personnel change then. And there's the delivery. And still dangerous. Another corner, hot on the heels of the last one. Chance here, and striking it on the volley, just no luck. Well, good technique, but just wide of the target. Can they take advantage? Free kick awarded then by the referee. And he's clear as lines. Well, many have wondered if they would get it over the line in terms of the deal. They've succeeded, Stuart. Well, certainly a lot of focus on the boy over the last year or two, and he seems to have a bright future ahead of him. Hopefully it turns out to be a good move, and he can continue to develop his career. Cotto. Jan Cotto. Martin Odegaard. Promising sequence. And whipped into the box. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. So, a half an hour remaining. Could pull one back here. And he does! He's thrown his team a lifeline. The belief is back. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Well, they've gone to sleep here, and he can't believe it. This will be an interesting game now. Well, underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. And news of a goal at Stamford Bridge. Alex Scott has all the information for us. It's a second goal for Chelsea. It's now level at 2-2 with 64 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Good work from Wolves to win it back. Nelson Semedo. Kilman. And the emphasis is on creativity. Oh, managing to beat him. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Pedro Neto. He's managed to lose his marker. And this would reduce the deficit. 
crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Trying to deliver it accurately. It's not a particularly good corner there. Jonathan David. Was spot on with that challenge. Carabao Cup excitement to look forward to. Live here on EA TV. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers taking on Watford. Well, it's great to have a break from the league for the players and the fans. Everybody loves this competition and so do I. It should be a good game. Thank you. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Coming off the pitch, number eight, James Madison. Coming onto the pitch, number 25, Hong Min Sun. Porto. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Might work out. Son could do the punishing here. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And what a clinical finish this is. Hit with such power by Son. Not much chance for the keeper there. Goals and plentiful supply. 4 1 currently. Santiago Bueno. Perfect tackle. In with a chance. The net is steering him in the face. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, that's a clinical finish. He just put his head down and smashed it past the keeper. There was no stopping that, was there? It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Southampton facing Brentford. Jan Cotto. Breaking at pace. That's a good-looking ball. And Son is in. Surely... And a penalty awarded, spot kick coming up. And the goalkeeper sees yellow for his intervention on that occasion. Well, he's not happy, is he? He just needs to calm himself down here. to finish it as a contest. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick, a special moment for him. Well, here it is again. Great composure to send the keeper the wrong way before striking it into the opposite side. That's an excellent penalty. Protecting it well. Sloppy in possession from Wolves. And he could really get at the opposition. And quick thinking defensively. Pedro Neto. 
And here's Cunha. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Jonathan David. De Jong. And defensive play to be applauded. Now, perhaps they can counter from here. Cunha. Still alive. And the referee has given them a corner. Playing it in, could still be dangerous. Tapia. And the Saints unable to hold on to the ball. And the cross not sufficiently well played in. And the final whistle has sounded. Reasons to be cheerful for Southampton fans on the back of this victory. Well, I've been really impressed with them, Derek. They've shown a lot of good qualities in their first couple of games. I think they're going to have an excellent season, I really do.